Hey guys, in this video we are talking about another topic in dynamics and it's called momentum. And momentum is described by the mass of an object multiplied by the velocity an object's traveling at. So we've got, we use the Greek letter rho to represent momentum and it's a vector quantity, it has a direction, and it's equal to mass times velocity. The change in momentum is described as the mass times the change in velocity. The change in velocity would be the final velocity minus the initial velocity. And that's all equivalent to the net force times time, which we can call impulse, change in velocity, sorry, not change in velocity, change in momentum. Um, momentum is measured in the units kilogram times meter per second squared, and then there would be a direction associated with that as well, so east, south, northwest, up, down, anything like that. So I'm going to do an example, and we're going to start just with this formula here. We've got a ball that's traveling at a velocity of 5 meters per second in the east direction, and it weighs 6 kilograms, and we're asked, what is the momentum of the ball? All you need to do to find momentum, momentum is defined as the measure of mass times velocity, so just take the mass and multiply by the velocity. 6 times 5 is 30, so it would be 30, the units are kilogram times meters per second squared, and there's a direction associated with it. In this example, our direction is going to be east. So that question is about the simplest one you could hope to find. Let's do one that's a little bit more complicated. And we are going to talk about this equation right here. So we've got an impulse. So I'll read the question out to you first. We're asked to find the net force when a 25 kilogram object traveling at 20 meters per second in the north direction is brought to a stop in 2.8 seconds. So we are using F net times time is equal to mass times the change in velocity, which is also described as impulse or change in momentum. So I'm just going to write down all the information we were told in the word problem. We're asked to find net force. We're told that the object's velocity is 2 meters per second at first, and then it's brought to a stop. So its final velocity would be 0 meters per second in the north direction. We also know that the mass is 25 kgs, and I think that's it. Okay, so we're using this formula because we're finding the net force. So F net is what we're trying to find times time, oh, I didn't write that down, time is 2.8 seconds, and that equals to the mass, 25 kg, times the change in velocity. We went from a velocity of 2 meters, or so that should be 20, 20 meters per second to 0. So, I'm going to go 0 minus 20, the final velocity minus the initial velocity. So that will simplify down to 25 times negative 20 would be negative 500 and 2.8 times F net. So I'll just divide by 2.8 so that will go away and I'll get F net by itself. And I get F net is equal to about negative 178.6. So all the negative sign tells you is the direction. So we're going to get rid of that. Force is measured in newtons. Okay. The last example we're going to do uses F net again, and we are going to do a question with a net force of 18 newtons. 
x upon a 10 kilogram object for 0 0.02 seconds, find the change in velocity. The so change in velocity is vs minus v original. So remember the formula f net equals ma. That's kind of what we're going to do here. We're going to think that A, if you remember back to kinematics, we have a formula that says A is Vs minus V original over T. So the net force was 18, that's going to equal mass is 10 times Vs was, did I tell you guys what Vs is? Oh, I need to tell you guys that the object started at rest, so V original will be zero. So Vs minus 0 over the time was 0 0.02 seconds. So I'll divide by 10 to get rid of that. 18 divided by 10 is just going to be 1.8. And that's going to equal Vs, because Vs is the same as Vs minus 0, over 0 0.02. To solve for Vs, all I need to do is times 0 0.02 on both sides. When I do that, I get Vf equals 0 0.036 meters per second.